The crops have survived desert-like conditions, rabbits and pigeons, but now it's time to safely gather in. Andy has his trusty steed, a class combine, and for today a wingman. Sporting shooter chef Mark is going to be riding high with his Maxus semi-auto to sort out the rabbits as they make for the field margins. Driven game, but not as you know it. So, what's the plan, gentlemen? Well, the plan is that we've got a bit of 16 acres of rape here we're just going to cut. It's on our boundary. Uh, I can shoot the rabbits on my, on my ground, no problem at all. Um, but when rabbits are coming from next door where I'm not allowed to shoot, um, this is quite a good way of doing it, sir. And rabbits spend a lot of time in the rape, they love it. They're undercover all the time, it's like being in a bush. So Mark is at a loose end today, so he's come up. Um, and the plan is I'm going to cut from the right-hand side where the rabbits are going to go to. Cut from the right-hand side, push the rabbits over to this side. Gives Mark more time to shoot the rabbits, that's the plan with a shotgun. So Mark, a bit of driven game today. It's, it's, it is really nice to be doing the only form of driven, driven game shooting that I can do and I can use my five shot auto uh, without breaking the law which is also good news for me. It's nice to be on Andy's ground because I'm with an expert in his field. You probably need all five shots to shoot each rabbit but still that's the way it goes. That's, as long as they're dead that's all those farmers. That's all, I don't care how you shoot them Mark as long as they are dead. The wheat price right. is high at the moment isn't it Andy? It is. I can tell by your smile. About two, two, <laughs> two twenty a ton, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not that much at the moment. It's dropped at the moment, but it will come back up. Positioning of the guns. Where's the best place? Uh, what you probably do today? Um, have one walking up alongside the combine. There's a lot come out beside the combine, and there's a lot come out behind the combine. Uh, for the first few runs around, Mark will probably um, see how it goes. Mark might sit up in the combine. You get plenty of time anyway, so he can sit up in the combine. Uh, gun will be unloaded, and you've got loads of time. You just jump out and load up and either shoot off the combine, uh, but if he's not happy with that, he can uh, walk alongside. Um, it, well, by his stomach, he needs to do the walking anyway, so he's getting quite fat, so uh, he'll probably end up doing a bit of walking. So, If you could right. cook like me, Crow, you'd be as fat as me. Oh, yeah. you use, I've got a wife that cooks for me. <laughs> Mark puts the browning together, and if it can function in this filthy state, he thinks one of the gun's nifty tricks might come into its own. I haven't washed it out with seawater yet, so I don't know how well it's going to do. With that test. Well, a minute, get this in there, Mark. I think it'd be alright, mate. That's well, 150 pigeons yesterday. 147 I got. What was you shooting with? Black powder? No, those <laughs> big, car <laughs> big cartridges we used. Man, look at what you in there, boy. That's alright. You should have seen the feathers in the field. Hmm. Get a bit of rape straw and dig it out. Whoa, 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 don't mess it up. Look at this shit in there, man. If that still cycles with all that shit in there, that ain't a bad gun, I'll tell you. Have you got any WD 40? No, I've got some gearbox or. Well, that, is that good for guns or not? <sighs> no. It's quite well worth. I tell you I'll what, tell you today, what if, that, if that cycle's alright with that. I'll tell you what you, you can do right. with it. You can load the thing up and have the thing on like that yeah. with it open. Yeah. This will be useful for today. Yeah. You walk out, if you do that, yeah. it drops this round back and it's loaded. You just put. Give us a demo. Check us some cartridges. Right. Now we'll find out whether it does it when it's clean or not. Hang on. Right. Show me that again. So you can have that loaded. So that's it, like that. Put it up there like that. Fully safe. So it's safe. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the combine like that. Yeah. Out pops a rabbit. I think that's a neat trick, don't you? That's good. That's good. That's the thing with autos. It, Safety. You've got to have one up the spout, and with the with the bread, you've got to push a button on the side to get them out. Yeah, that's, that looks good. I like that. That's a clever idea, isn't yeah, it? It is clever. Just you, all you do is flick that, flick that button, bounce and you're away. The Maxus has been used and abused like all Mark's other kit, it's, it's apart mm. from his pots and pans, which incredibly are always spotless. Time for a spin in the combine. This rape field should take a couple of hours to cut, so Mark's friend Ian makes himself comfortable and mentally prepares himself for the glut of rabbits that are bound to be tucked up in the crop. And Mark keeps clean in the cab as Andy works his way into the centre of the field. With a few rabbits becoming evident, Mark takes up the position. Riding high, he has a great view of anything bolting from the cover. Unfortunately, the crop promises much, but delivers little, apart from giving Mark a good dusting. Well, at least we know that the uh, Maxis will cycle when covered in lots of rape dust. It's whether I'll cycle with lots of rape dust in me. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't even done half the field. There's quite a lot of rabbits in there, but they keep running back into the, um, into the bit that hasn't been cut yet. So. I've got four rats as well. It's 
what I've shot so far, four rats. One of them did take three shots and it wasn't moving, which is not that impressive for someone that shoots every day. That last strip would be fun. Well, yeah, that, you can see them running in front of the head and they're bolting in, but I don't think it'll be long now before they start bolting out. So yeah, it's the last strip's always the best one. I think on the last, as we get smaller and smaller, I'll go in front of the combine and we'll get um, Ian, my friend, to go behind the combine. Because sometimes I'll wait for the combine to go past and then go um, out behind it and run for the headland. So there's quite a lot of rabbit uh, stop holes dug in the rake. So there must be some rabbits in there and we keep seeing them running in front of the combine header. So hopefully it could be good. It is dusty up there though. <coughs> is my face black? Yeah. Okay. Do I have little goggle marks? Totally. I mean, next time I'm going to wear, I should have worn those goggles, those ski goggles I got in the car. <coughs> in fact, I might go and put, in fact, I'm going to go and put those ski goggles on. <coughs> Things I do for my sponsors. What do you reckon? Well, That's going to stop the soot going in my eyes. Yeah. Just that. I'm seeing it. I don't know how you're doing it. I've got a cooking job on tonight. I'm oh, no. I am going to have to have a bath, otherwise you're they're going to... have to. Look at that. Eventually, Mark gets a few shots off. However, with the amount of standing crop diminishing rapidly, the bag is going to be pretty small. At least the barn is going to be full. It's been a fun couple of hours for Captain Combine. So what's his assessment of his driven day? Yeah, I think unfortunately there was just too many foxes in there. Uh, there's four... We saw four foxes come out of there. Um, I think they must have gone round and round and round and pushed all the rabbits out. That's certainly what Andy reckons. But there'll be some consolation because um, I shouldn't think those foxes will be alive by the weekend because the crow will come and get them either tonight or tomorrow night. So there we go. It's a bit unfortunate. My friend's come all the way down from Inverness and he's shot sort of 10 pigeons and, and no rabbits, which um, is poor even by my standards. So I suppose that if you work out how much he's spent on it, it makes grouse shoot shooting look rather cheap. But there we go. Sometimes it's probably best if you don't do the sums when it comes to pursuing your love of field sports.